Welcome back to Clean Fill Wanted again. Last time we did the cross cut, well, dovetail saw, now a cross cut slash carcassy saw. This episode, we're going to be fixing up these two dado planes. This one I can tell you was definitely used a lot. It's chipped out, but this iron has a convex curve on it, which means it's even sharpened by hand. This one's about 3 8 of an inch. This guy is completely missing a wedge up here. They bent the iron, the knicker iron, <clears throat> so that it holds itself in place. The iron on here looks to still have a factory grain cut on it. The tip of it was definitely honed, so somebody did use it, they just didn't like using it. I'm going to take all the brass out of here and get it into a tub of vinegar. It's only gonna be a few hours, and from there, we should be able to work on getting the rest of this done pretty quickly. the sucker out first <sighs> this probably would have been the right thing to do that might just be staying in there <laughs> this one is stripped and that one is locked up Been a few hours. Brass that I could get off has been soaking in there. This thing on the one that won't come off, I'm gonna leave it there for now. I do find it weird that the screws don't match and that it seems like the one is glued in and the other one's stripped. I don't really know what's going on there. So I have no idea what theory to come up with in my head of what happened to this tool that it came to this state. It works as it is. If I can find one of those screw removal tapping kits, I'll use it. I'm not gonna buy one for it though, because this works. This is acetone. I will probably use turpentine or acetone when I clean things like this. Look at that dirt coming off of there. I would be using something like naphtha, but I have no idea what it's called here. actually that the wood up in here is bent this way. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to come out and straighten out the uh, cutters and then sharpen them a little bit. I need them to be in the bodies to know what angle to sharpen them to because they're both skewed. We're gonna make the second wedge for this one and we're gonna straighten out the rail on the small one and then reassemble everything. It shouldn't be a hard thing to do this time. Morning. 
Um, my eyes are still a little crooked. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. That actually turned out pretty well. Uh, slightly unfair, I had a mortise here, but it was tearing out real bad. The knickers are so far forward, you have to basically pull the plane all the way back, and that's what I wasn't doing. As soon as I started doing that, this cleaned out real quick. Yeah, this one, unfortunately, doesn't have that piece in the front, and I didn't realize how big of a piece was missing there. I still would have bought it anyways. I'm, I'm, a little, I'm a little sad that I had to do that because that last cut that I had there, this one, this 3 8 dado right here, it's almost perfect. So I had that one set up pretty, pretty well. felt horrible but that's actually it's not bad it's actually it's actually really good I don't, there's there's definitely gonna be a learning curve to making these work well it isn't just a use it and it's done there's gonna be a marking it Cutting it, a, cutting it in a little bit more and then um, sawing out both edges so that I don't break out. We'll see if it actually makes my life easier or if doing it the old way 
was good enough. Woof woof. <laughs> you, you do realize, oh my god, you know I have to brush you out again before you go inside, right? <laughs>